Here. Trustee Garvey. Here. Trustee Zalik. Here. Trustee Geezer. Here. Trustee Fuzzoloni. Here. Trustee McCarthy. Here. Mayor Saverino. Here. Please uh, stand and face the flag. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Their motion approved the minutes of our May 3rd, 2021 Village Board meeting. So moved. Second. Moved by Trustee McCarthy, seconded by Trustee Fruzzoloni. Clerk, call the roll. Trustee Berger. Aye. Trustee Garvey. Aye. Trustee Zalik. Aye. Trustee Geezer. Aye. Trustee Fruzzoloni. Aye. Trustee McCarthy. Aye. Under listening posts, we have resolution number 31. 85, commending Greg Swarzy for service as village trustee. Whereas Greg Swarzy was elected as village trustee and served that, in that position for 14 years from May 14, 2007 to November 30, 2020. And whereas during his tenure as village trustee, Greg Swarzy has been a strong advocate for Carroll Stream's senior citizen population, lobbying and voting to increase funding for Meals on Wheels, program for seniors who live along and find it difficult to shop and prepare their own meals. And whereas Greg Swarzy has been a strong advocate and supporter of Carroll Stream businesses and encourages residents to remember to please shop Carroll Stream. And whereas Greg Swarzy has been sworn in as a newly elected DuPage County District 6 board member on December 1st, 2020, thereby requiring that he resign his position as the village trustee. And whereas Greg Swarzy has served the village of Carroll Stream and its residents extremely well with distinction and the Contributed, is that a setup? The fire truck went by? <laughs> <laughs> Greatly to the welfare of the village. Now therefore be it resolved by the mayor and the board of trustees hereby publicly commend and thank Greg Swarzy on behalf of the village of Carroll Stream for his service to the community, passed and approved this 17th day of May, 2021. Their motion was so moved. moved. All, everybody moved, everybody seconded. I don't know, put down whoever's name you want to. <laughs> Greg, Arthur where are Geezer. you? Come on up here. We got a beautiful plaque for you. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, I'll, I'll second that. If you could probably come up and take a picture with all of us, that would be wonderful. Okay, come on. Huh? 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 What's the A stand for? That's yours. Alan, Alan. Albert. Uh, he can't put his hand in his pocket. He's holding it. <laughs> I'll want, put my yeah. hand in my pocket. Do you want someone to hold your, your plaque for you? The mask on or off? Off. Okay. We've all been inoculated. we got firemen in the back to save us. <laughs> yeah, Julia, get up here. Almost forgot. Camelot. The reason I waited until this time to do this. She should be yeah, next, go next to you. Go, go, go next. Go. Go on. No, no, Keep moving. No, no. Oh, yeah. Yes. Keep moving. Yeah, that'll all take a step back. One, two, three. Yeah. Thank you. So much. No one argues with a trustee. <laughs> A few words, you? What? Only a few? You get 10 minutes. It won't be 10. I don't think. The drive button. Third one. Thank you very much. Um, I was really honored that you, uh, you read that, Mr. Mayor. I sincerely appreciate that. And... Um, Thank you for, and uh, you know, I was, uh, I resigned in, um, at the end of November and 
It was all by Zoom, you know. It was my last meeting was a Zoom meeting. We had, this building was empty and um, I just, uh, I wanted the opportunity to do this um, in front of people, certainly you guys, because you guys have been my family for, for many, many years. And of course, my uh, wonderful wife wanted her to be a part of this too. So, um, you know, I just, it won't be, won't be long, I promise, to, to my chiefs that I told them they've heard me speak and they told me to keep it short. So um, thank you for being here. <laughs> um, you know, a lot, a lot happened, in, a lot had happened in the 13 and a half, almost 14 years I was a village trustee here. I mean, I got elected in 2007 and what do we have? The Great Recession in 2008, which uh, I think depleted something close to 25% of our, our revenue due to the, the economy hitting hard. We handled that strong. We handled it without controversy. Um, you know, we lost our shared income tax, all of it, and then half of it, and then uh, who, I don't even know where it's at these days. But again, for a village without a property tax at the time, we, we handled it strong. We handled it as a team. You know, we, we never always agreed totally on stuff, but we, we always worked together for the good of this community. It's like one of the proud things that I, that I say to people is how much I care about the residents of Carroll Stream. And in my mind, I care about them as probably as much as anybody, but when I stand in this room, uh, not just with elected officials, but with staff, um, you know, I, I certainly don't stand out in the crowd in this because everybody here loves this community, loves the people of this community um, as much as I do. And, and, and that's, I think, why we, we did such a great job. Um, 13 and a half years, I think the only department head that is the same when I started is Carol, I think. You know, every other department head has changed, including our village manager. Um, we've gone through 10 village trustees that I've served with, not counting myself. Obviously, one, two, three, four. Can you name the other six, anybody? Want to give it a shot? Don Weiss. Oh, my God. Don Weiss, David Mike Drager, Drager, Anthony Manzullo, Jim Fenner. John Fiat. Yeah, yeah. Was he on here? No. Don was not on there. Um, Bar owner guy. Shanahan? No. No, no, no. Uh, now, now I lost track. Let's Shanahan see. Shanahan was gone. Uh, uh, Dave Hennessy and John LaRocca. Those are the other six. Oh, LaRocca. How did we forget LaRocca? That would have been the easy one. The, uh, the one constant, I've only served with one mayor. And, uh, and Frank, I just, I think, I look at Mayor Ferraro. And he was, he was the mayor of this, of this city when it was growing, when it was physically growing. You've been the mayor when it's been growing emotionally and trying to figure out who we are. And, and you have a stamp on this, on this community. Um, a big part of this town is because of you. you. You've helped us all figure out who we are as a city, as a town, as a village, I should say. And, um, and it's been... Uh, a wonderful, wonderful stamp that you put on this town, and, and I'm very proud to have served under you these uh, the 13 and a half years that I served. So, um, thank you again. Thank you to all the staff. Uh, I, I think that I serve for the right reasons. I always try to tell myself. Um, I always try to be thoughtful in my thought process and and and, and be empathetic to uh, the people of this town and, and what I think would be the best decision. If anything, I. I created uh, uh, awareness of shopping local, um, and um, at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very happy to be on the DuPage County Board. I, I want you to know that uh, the committees I'm on are all things that you would figure that I would be on. They're all things that I can continue carry things that are important to me. I'm the uh, chairman of the ETSB committee, which is the uh, 911 surcharge and, and, and that sort of thing. And, my goal is to get the, the, the fire and the, the police in DuPage County new radios because our radios are 12 years old and that's a, about a $25 million project that, that, I'll be, that I've been working on. I'm the vice chair of the Health and Human Services which allows me to keep working with seniors, our senior uh, uh, population. Intergovernmental, I'm on the Intergovernmental Committee, I'm on the Judicial Public Safety Committee, which actually makes sense being in the public safety field. So, so these, are, uh, these are things that um, I hope to carry, uh, you know, the things that are important to me and important to our community. 
onto this next level, but my heart is here in Carroll Stream. If you guys need anything at all, you know, let me use my powers for good and, and do anything I can to help Carroll Stream. I'll, I'll be back at, at future meetings to see if you guys need anything. Um, but uh, thank you again, and thank you for this, this honor. I appreciate it. Well, before you leave, uh, we both came on at the same time. I was a trustee for six years before you came on, but from my first day as the mayor, you were there, you know, and I look good because of people like you and the people that are here and the new people that are here. But we got a staff that is phenomenal. And if we follow their lead and we use our own judgment, we will always be a step ahead of everybody else. That's how I feel. But a lot of what we do, we're not all the same. We don't all think the same. But when, it, when it's all said and done, everybody comes together as a group, and that's how things, good things happen. But thank you personally for all the years you sat next to me for everything you've done for this town. Remember, shop, Carol Stream. Everybody says that when you're not here, we all think because you have been implanted that. We pass it on to Julia. And thank you yeah. for my <laughs> wife. And, and just for the record, some other changes. I was I had a different wife when I started on this board. And I, had this <laughs> oh, I would never. And but hold on, but she has been with me as a board member longer than my previous wife. So <laughs> that's another reason I wanted to wait. Until she could be here in person. To, when to you married it. Julia, I said, Camelot is back in Carol Street. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. Well, at least I'm not going to feel like I have to miss you. That's a good, because you're going to, yeah. you'll still be here. The uh, next thing on the agenda is a proclamation designating May 17th through the 23rd as Bike to Work Week, and Trustee Geezer had called me and asked me if he could read that. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. You're welcome. We'll let them step out for just a moment. Oh. Um, we are designating May 17th to the 23rd as Bike to Work Week. Whereas, for more than a century, the bicycle has been a utilitarian, economical, environmentally sound, and effective means of personal transportation, recreation, and fitness. And whereas, the village encourages biking as a recreational activity and an alternate means of transportation through extensive trail offerings. And whereas, the village recognizes the bicycle as a legitimate roadway vehicle and therefore is entitled to legal and responsible use of all village roadway and pedestrian pathways. And whereas, the village encourages the increased use of bicycles, benefiting all residents by improving air quality, reducing traffic congestion and noise, decreasing the use and dependence upon finite energy sources, and fostering physical fitness. And whereas the village recognizes the use of bicycles as a viable mode of transportation, endeavors to promote safe and responsible bicycling, and is committed to incorporating the development of bicycle facilities in an overall land use plan. And whereas May is National Bicycle Month and as Bike to Work Week in the Chicago metropolitan area. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Mayor Frank Savarino, Sr. and the Carroll Stream Board of Trustees in DuPage County, Illinois, in the exercise of its home rule powers, does hereby proclaim May 17 to the 23rd Bike to Work Week in Carroll Stream and encourages all residents during this week to ride their bicycles to work, to the store, to the park, <coughs> around their neighborhoods, and with friends and family, and also challenge local employers to incentivize their employees that have safe means of bicycle travel to their workplace to do so as well. Proclaimed May 17th, uh, 2021. Thank you, Trustee Geezer. Do we have any addresses from the audience? Joe Highland? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I think it is. <laughs> um, I want to introduce, we have an intern this summer for the course of the summer at the examiner. Tapia. And they were going to have her shatter a reporter, but they stuck her with me instead. <laughs> so she'll be here for the next, here with me for the next couple of meetings. Oh, very good. Welcome. Does that mean you're retiring? End of next month. Oh. You what? Really? End of next month. Next month. 
Okay. Into June. Wow. We'll miss you. We will. Yeah. I, and, and I'll say it. I'll miss I this. This is probably my favorite beat to cover of all the ones I've covered. I, I don't care who hears it, but I'll say it. Out of all the reporters that ever covered us, you report what you hear and don't embellish on anything. That's why we've had a relationship. That's my job. At the beginning, I said, if I said it, print it. That's right. it. That's all I can tell you. I don't, don't make, make it, it better. I don't, don't make, make it, it I worse. report it. And you've done that, and I appreciate that. Believe me. 100% agree. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Even though, Joe, it only took you two years to learn how to spell my name, but it's fine. So <laughs> working on me. I used, I used his stage <laughs> name yeah, last week. <laughs> only that. once, though. I used your name a couple times in the article, but I only used your stage name once. <laughs> I edited, my editor is usually right on top of that. He calls it Highlandisms. After oh, when you're in the years. witness protection program, I like that. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. But anyway, um, I just wanted to, I don't know if she wants to say a few words or not. <laughs> if you change your mind at any future meetings, the microphone is always open. All right, thank you so much. She's a journalism major at Northern, and she'll be a senior this year, this Thanks. fall. Congratulations. Right. Welcome. Thank you. Show her the ropes, Joe. I rope out in my truck. <laughs> <laughs> Tia, was there anything else? Anybody sent in anything? We did not receive any electronic public comments. Very good. Is there a motion to establish a consent agenda? So moved. Second. Second. Moved by Trustee McCarthy, seconded by Trustee Geezer. Clerk, call the roll. Trustee Berger. Aye. Trustee Garvey. Aye. Trustee Zalik. Aye. Trustee Geezer. Aye. Trustee Fruzzoloni. Aye. Trustee McCarthy. Aye. Madam Clerk, would you please read what is on the consent agenda? Certainly. Staff reports and recommendations. Motion to purchase large water meters and supplies from CORE in Maine in an amount not to exceed $50,000 pursuant to the provisions of section 5-8-3B and subsection 5-8-14C of the Carroll Stream Code of Ordinances. Yes. 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 Did you, you say, say off? off? Off. Oh, so Trustee Garvey pulled that one off the consent agenda. Okay. The second one is award of contract for the purchase and delivery of 327 LED streetlight fixtures to City Electric Supply in the amount of $46,515.05. Yes. 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 Award of a contract of services to Alexis Areas in an amount not to exceed $40,000 pursuant to the provisions of Chapter 5, Article 8, Section 5-8-14F of the Carroll Stream Code of Ordinances. Yes. 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 Request for a temporary waiver to the Code of Ordinances for a temporary use permit extension of 120 days for rapid testing solutions at Heritage Plaza. Yes. 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 Purchase of furniture for the new training room from Villa Park Office Equipment in an amount not to exceed $30,871.80 through a joint purchasing government contract. Yes. 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 Ordinances. Ordinance amending Chapter 11, Article 2 of the Carroll Stream Code of Ordinances by decreasing the number of Class N liquor licenses from 1 to 0. American Legion Post number 76, Building Corporation doing business as American Legion Post number 76, 570 South Gary Avenue. Yes. 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 That is ordinance number 2021-05-17. May I have a, ask a question? Of, sure, absolutely. Uh, should they be interested in the future, will they still be able to uh, apply for a liquor license? Should they be interested? I have had some lengthy conversations with them, and I, I feel bad to say this, but that generation is dying off. And I noticed that several years back when they had Legion Ball, all of the members are all in wheelchairs with canes, and they're all in their 80s and 90s, and it doesn't seem like younger people want to move in there. when. I asked if they had, being they had a, a liquor license, if they wanted a gaming license, it would make sense to put it there. But they told me they don't get enough people to come in to even warrant it. So I, this wasn't a surprise to me. I mean, it will be to some people that might be having a party, and that leaves no place for some of the 
military guys that did go in there to go. So yes, if they want it back later, they could they can get it back and uh, I don't know. So yes, they could. Okay, good. Resolutions. Resolution supporting the restoration of local government distributive fund revenues distributed by the state of Illinois. Yes. 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 That is resolution number 3186. Resolution amending resolution number 3183, adopting the 2021-22 employee compensation plan for the village of Carroll Stream to eliminate two 19-hour secretary positions within the public works department and establish two 29-hour secretary positions. Yes. 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 That is resolution number 3187. Resolution approving an incentive agreement extension with Zones LLC located at 725 to 785 Center Street. Yes. 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 That is resolution number 3188. New business. Recommend appointment of Keith Briggs to the Board of Fire and Police Commission for a three-year term expiring April 30th, 2024. Yes. 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 Payment of bills, regular bills, May 4th, 2021 through May 17th, 2021. Yes. 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 Addendum warrants, May 4th, 2021 through May 17th, 2021. Yes. 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 Treasurer's report, revenue expenditure statements and balance sheet for the month ended April 30th, 2021. Received. 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 And that concludes the list of consent agenda items. Is there a motion to put those items on the consent agenda? So moved. Second. Second. Moved by Trustee Frozzoni, seconded by Trustee Zalik. Clerk, call the roll. Trustee Berger. Aye. Trustee Garvey. Aye. Trustee Zalik. Aye. Trustee Geezer. Aye. Trustee Frozzoni. Aye. Trustee McCarthy. Aye. Is there a motion to approve those items by omnibus vote? So moved. Second. Got to be a little quicker there. <laughs> Moved by Trustee McCarthy, seconded by Trustee Berger. Clerk, call the roll. Trustee Berger. Aye. Trustee Garvey. Aye. Trustee Zalik. Aye. Trustee Geezer. Aye. Trustee Fruzzoloni. Aye. Trustee McCarthy. Aye. Oh, report officers, huh? Now we got the one that we got to go. One that was yes. pulled off the consent. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. We pulled that off. Uh, You want to go in, into the mic? Thank you. The reason I asked for that to be taken off is that my employer uh, has a longstanding relationship with the company that owns Corn Maine, and I have personal relationship with some employees there. So just to avoid any issues, I asked for it to be taken off so that I can abstain. As simple as that. I think that was a wonderful move because nobody knew that but you, and I appreciate you stepping forward to say that. Of course. But it would have happened with you or without you. So I, I understand. They are a good company, so good. Thank you. But thank you for stepping forward like that. Okay, so we have to vote on that. Well, uh, I'll make a motion to approve the purchase of uh, large water meters not to exceed uh, $50,000. Second. Moved by Trustee McCarthy, seconded by Trustee Fruzzolani. Clerk, call the roll. Trustee Berger. Aye. Trustee Garvey. Abstain. Oops, sorry. Trustee Zalik. Aye. Trustee Geezer. Aye. Trustee Fruzzoloni. Aye. Trustee McCarthy. Aye. Board officers, uh, Trustee Berger. I would like to first point out my improvement from my first meeting. I've had the mic on the whole time, so I didn't <laughs> have to yell. And uh, Trustee Fruzzoloni, if there's a rotation for seconding motions, just let me know. You know, give me a... There, there's not. You just jump in. I'm not quick on the draw. you got to give me a heads up. <laughs> um... I, this past week, I uh, continued some of my official and unofficial uh, training for my new position, which include uh, the mayor being very generous with his time and spending about two hours talking with me. Um, I also took a nice tour of uh, public works. This time it didn't involve the uh, sanitary portion of it, so it smelled a little better. And uh, I was joined by uh, Trustee Garvey, so thank you for that. And then I followed that up with a, uh, a nice tour of the village uh, regarding some of the properties that the village owns. And you would, you would think after living in a um, town for over 20 years, taking a tour of the town would be kind of boring. But 
because, you know, I've been around, but I learned a lot on that tour, so I appreciate that. And um, I would also uh, like to just share a quick thing that happened over Facebook um, over the weekend. Uh, there was a resident who I met at a, through a volunteer event. Um, it was a mobile food drive over at the high school, um, I don't know, a few months back. Um, and uh, she didn't have any means for transportation, and, and I brought the food to her when the event was over, and we've stayed in touch ever since then. So I heard from her this past weekend, and she said that she didn't have a way of cutting her grass. I wanted to know if I knew of anybody who you know, would come by, and I thought about running over there, but I, I was tied up and I couldn't get there, and it was supposed to rain. So I posted on Facebook you know, under uh, the parents of Carol Stream. I said there's a resident who is in need of help. They have a small yard and would like to get their, their lawn cut. And I thought, God, I hope somebody surfaces because, you know, <laughs> you want to be able to help out. And uh, a resident by the name of Jessica said she loves to cut lawns. She said she would be over there within the hour and would cut the grass for her, and uh, she did. And it wasn't just that. It wasn't just Jessica taking that extra time, but it was all the other people who were also surfacing saying that, you know, if, if she needs help in the future, to let them know. Um, and uh, it just gave me a nice warm feeling, and it always, it's always nice having those moments that uh, um, restore your faith in humanity <laughs> over the, after the past year, so I just wanted to share that. And uh, finally, I wanted to um, commend uh, Commander Cooper. I understand that he was a uh, hero in the past week and saved a child who was choking in a restaurant when he was off duty, so I think that should be acknowledged. And uh, with that, I will end my report. Thank you, Trustee Berger. Trustee Garvey. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just want to uh, add my congratulations to, um, you're still trustee, aren't you? In the, for the county? <coughs> the trustee, Greg Schwartzy, on uh, the commendation from the village. That certainly is well deserved. And uh, I want to tell you that I believe that your service here is um, an honorable precedent for the rest of us to look to, to to continue that service. So I appreciate and thank you for your service. Um, I also want to extend my thanks to uh, Phil Modoff, or Modoff for the, the tour of Public Works. It's very enlightening. And also to commend uh, Mr. Cooper, Commander Cooper, for his off-duty service. And that's all I have. Thank you, Trustee Garvey. <coughs> Trustee Zalek. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I, too, want to commend um, County Board Member uh, Schwarzy um, for his service as a trustee and as, uh, for his service as a first responder. I worked with him in both capacities um, and uh, always professional, you know, and we lost you, but we didn't. So, um, but I want to thank you and it's an honor to work with you in both capacities, okay? Um, I also want to thank uh, Commander Cooper and Amanda Larson. I think she also saved a life um, in the past uh, year, um, and I know that I didn't recognize her, so I want to thank both of them for their service to the community. And finally, I, now that the weather is getting warm, I think I saw a couple 85s or higher in the 10-day forecast. Um, so May is National Water Safety Month. Uh, drowning is the leading cause of international injury-related deaths among one to four-year-olds. Um, if you have a pool, please inspect your latches on the fence um, and never, ever leave them alone even for a second. I know there has been a few calls in here in Carroll Stream that I responded to where tragedy has struck, you know, with pools and, and kids. So please, please, please never leave them alone. And the CDC also says that formal swim lessons reduce the risk of drowning by 88%. So um, if you want more information, look up the website ndpa.org or stopdrowningnow.org. And that concludes my report. Thank you, Trustee Salick. Trustee Geezer. Thank you very much. I, too, would like to commend uh, Greg Schwarzy for your service here to the community and your service now to the county, but you'll, as it's been said, you will still be serving Carroll Stream as we will be requesting things uh, of you from time to time. Uh, so thank you, thank you very much. Um, 
I had the opportunity, uh, along with uh, Trustee Berger and the mayor, to attend several uh, ribbon cuttings uh, over the past several weeks. And it's just, um, it's exciting to see that in the middle of, uh, of uh, the pandemic, we still have businesses and entrepreneurs willing to open businesses in our village. So I also want to commend our uh, community development staff uh, for, uh, for working with these people to come to the village. So thank you very much. And I know you're working on some other big projects throughout the community, and we're excited to to see them come to fruition. Um, coming up, uh, I mentioned this last uh, last meeting, but I want to mention it again because I think it's an important event. There'll be a, a virtual, well, it's scheduled to be a virtual, so maybe it won't be a virtual, uh, Memorial Day service on May 31st at 11 p.m. Um, it'll be held by the VFW and the Veterans Memorial Task Force and the Park District. It's going to be live streamed on the Park District and the Veterans Memorial Facebook pages. So if you have an opportunity to participate in that, I uh, encourage you to do that. And uh, on a personal note, uh, next week is my wife's birthday. So I just want to send an, an early uh, happy birthday to Kim. That's my report. Thank you, Trustee Geezer. Trustee Frizzolani? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Greg. Um, I've been on the board 10 years, and you were one of my first friends. Um, you were one of the first people to reach out to me and to not, ask, not to give me advice, but to ask me what I needed. Um, and I picked your brain. We met for breakfast. I don't know if you remember. We met for breakfast. You had just gotten off duty, and you said, I only have like a half hour, and we talked for like two hours. Um, which was fantastic. Coming into this, it was it was great to develop those relationships. So I just want to say thank you. I enjoyed sitting next to you for, was it two years, three years, four years, something like that. I just know we've sat next to each other several times. So I just want to say thank you, um, and thank you for what you're doing on the county board. Um, I know that you're, you're very, very involved, and I know that you've got the best interest of Carol Stream at heart, and trust us, we will be calling you if we need anything or any help. We're not afraid to do that. So thank you, Greg, very much for what you've done. Um, this past weekend, even though the weather was kind of questionable on Saturday, we had a large group, almost 100 people, that had signed up to do the pond sweep, um, which was great because it is one more activity that makes it feel like normalcy is starting to return. Um, that was always like one of the first things in the spring that the village um, had. Um, and even though the rain came in, I know that um, I, I saw people out there. So it was great to see. Um, unfortunately, I was driving past and didn't get a chance to stop and help this year, but next year, definitely. Um, so thank you to the community groups that helped out because that really is very, very important um, in the early spring seasons that we get the ponds and the streams cleaned up, um, especially with the rainy season coming. Um, Boy, there was something else, and now I can't remember what it was. You covered water safety. There was something else, and it was tied into that. And I don't remember what it was. I apologize. Um, I think that's all I have. You yes, thank you. That's what it was. Congratulations to, to Commander Cooper. Um, when I read the, I actually read the Facebook post first. Then I saw it on WGN, but it did not surprise me in the least bit. Um, this is stories that you know that you hear, and when I heard that it was, it could have been anybody from the Carroll Street Police Department. But I just want to say congratulations to Brian. I know that it meant a lot to him to um, be able to help and to have such a successful outcome. Um, I know the family was beyond ecstatic. The Facebook post was just unbelievable the, and the outpouring also there was a lot of people that have no clue who he is and the outpouring from the community was fantastic so thank you for that um, and with that just a happy belated birthday to to our mayor um, one of my favorite memories on your birthday I don't know if you remember when we went down to WGN and we did Battle of the Burbs. I have pictures of that. Five years ago, because it came up on Facebook, and I it came up on Facebook before it posted that it was your birthday, and I'm like, it wasn't it Frank's birthday when we did? It was. That was so, thanks to yes, trustee it Gieser. was. It's it, one of my favorite memories as a trustee, and, but it was and, also and on your what birthday. What clown did we get to see his room where he changed in? Bozo. At WGN, you remember that? Of course. Oh yeah, Bozo's Bozo's dress room, Bozo's, dressing room. We actually were in a room, Bozo's Circus. 
where he changed clothes. Huh? Was yeah. that exciting? It was, but we, but for your birthday that year. hadn't been cleaned in 25 years. No, it was not. It was, yeah, you could tell. And I didn't participate, but they did wonderful. But you were our, you were our cheerleader, and we brought home the win for you. Yeah. That was your birthday gift that year, so we can't top it. But we I just brought Trusty Hennessy with all them muscles, figuring we get the muscle, and then Mary was the <laughs> muscle part of the whole thing. Yeah. Or she was. <laughs> Thank you. It was it was a great memory. So I just wanted to say happy birthday to you. Thank With you. That I end my report. Thank you. Yeah, another birthday. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Trustee McCarthy. Um, first off, Commander Cooper, uh, thank you more than anything. Thank you for for showing first responders again. They're always on. Um, most of us have jobs. When we go home, we kind of turn it off, and and I think that just showed they're always ready to. First responders are always ready to jump in and do what's what's needed right then and not wait for somebody. So more than anything, thank you. Um, you're seeing a lot of reports again of, of people rifling through cars uh, in driveways in the middle of the night. Hey, lock your cars. Um, and the other thing is if you have a ring, uh, the police department has a, a opportunity for if something happens, um, you can they can view just that part of the video they're not invading your privacy or anything else. They're looking at your ring video to see if they can recognize and identify um, anything going on in the neighborhood that, that causes a problem for our residents. So um, you can reach out to the police department. They'll help you set it up. But um, it's just a great way. It's, it's a new type of community policing. Uh, it gets everybody involved, and, uh, and it keeps us safer. So if you get a chance and you have a ring, please do that. But also, again, lock your lock your doors in your car at night. Um, Greg, it's been an honor serving with you uh, more than anything else. We we I would say about eighty percent of the time looked at things completely different, and then about ninety five percent of the time came to the same conclusion. Um, I think we did a good job of showing how people completely different viewpoints come to the same conclusion to make a community better. And um, I've always thought that of you. I've always said, eh, I can argue with Greg because I know number one, when we walk out, most importantly, we're still friends. Um, we never had a, a, a poor word for each other in our discussions. And once in a while, he, I'd sway his way and once in a while, he'd sway mine. If not, we'd find a happy medium and, and be perfectly happy with the outcome. So it really has been an honor, and, and you did Carol Stream proud, and always know that. So congrats and congratulations, and I look forward to asking for your help on the, on the county board level. Um, with that, I'm gonna end my report. Thank you, Trustee McCarthy. Tia, do you have anything you wanna go over? Well, I am happy to say that we are looking to move ahead with the Carol Stream Summer Concert Series. And we have five concerts that are planned for this summer, beginning July 15th. And the, the concerts are fully funded, thanks to support from our wonderful sponsors. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much. Thank you for all the hard work you put in on that. All the hard work last year that never come to fruition because we couldn't have anything but you never quit, and I appreciate that, believe me, for the community. Uh, a lot of people are looking forward to those concerts, so thank you. Madam Clark? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I just wanted to say, I have to apologize in the last meeting, I was so excited with the swearing-in ceremony, I completely neglected to formally congratulate the, the newly elected trustees McCarthy, Geezer, and Berger. So I formally congratulate you. I'm, I know I said in person, um, you know, on the side, but I wanted to formally congratulate you guys. Sorry about that. Um, I also wanted to thank my deputy clerk, Sherry Craig, who is my right-hand woman. Without her, I could not do this job. She's my go-to. She's there for me 24-7, um, and she makes my job easy. So, you know, as you said, Mayor Severino, the staff is just incredible here, and uh, all of us have such an easy time because of the staff. So thank you so much to staff and to Sherry Craig. And also I want to say congratulations to my husband, Greg. Um, I am so grateful that you brought me into Carroll Stream. I love this community and um, you are my inspiration for all of this, so thank you. And then lastly, to um, carry on with Greg's message, everyone please shop Carroll Stream. That's all thank I have. You. You're welcome. Mr. Meller, village manager.
agreement. Check in your stack or what? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, just a few items uh, kind of tag along with some of the comments that was made previously. Uh, Trustee Fruzzoloni mentioned the volunteers that helped out with the pond and stream sweep. Uh, we had just over 100 people involved in that, which shows you the volunteerism of the community. Um, and they cleaned <clears throat> up to 10 ponds. And also wanted to do a special thank you to Home Depot that uh, donated a lot of the uh, supplies and materials for the cleanup effort. Um, <clears throat> for those residents living next to the Lees Road Water Tower, uh, that project is scheduled, the painting of the tower is scheduled to uh, begin this week. Uh, it will only be done on calm days and, um, and favorable weather. So. Uh, congratulations to Keith Briggs on his reappointment and continued volunteer services as a Board of Fire and Police Commissioner. Uh, he's an outstanding commissioner and we value his uh, judgment. Um, and then uh, Trustee Geezer mentioned uh, two new businesses, uh, Golden Jewelry and Loan and On Point Nutrition, both on um, Gary Avenue. Um, they had their uh, ribbon cutting uh, last week and we welcome them. Uh, Wayne Township will be hosting a vaccination event for those 12 years and older. Is that correct, uh, uh, Village Court? <laughs> yes, it okay. is correct. Uh, at their North Avenue offices uh, this coming Saturday. So if you haven't gotten your vaccine and you still need it, uh, that's, the, that's the place to go. Uh, and then finally, the municipal offices will be closed on Monday, May 31st in observance of Memorial Day. That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Miller. Welcome. Greg, I can't say enough. We go back further than here with my six years before I spent almost five with the fire district. So we were both newbies back then. I was there uh, back when you first came in, I believe, because I've been here for the same time you have, but six years before you, but then I was with the fire district. So I, I don't remember you because I was so scared being an elected official, to be honest with you. That, well, I think, well, Joe Bird was the president at that time. He came in after uh, Dick Camus. And then after that, it was different. That I ended up coming from there to here. But we go back a long way. I want to thank you for all that you've done and what you plan on doing for the village. It's not that you just quit and walked away. You took a bigger job with the county, District 6. In fact, we have a District 6 meeting coming up that they asked that we, we elected to host. B and I have... District 6 here, we're going to have the meeting there, uh, live in, in color and not Zoomed. So we, everybody, and we got a lot of people coming from what I understand. They want to come. We've been locked down and not communicating well with a lot of people. It's time that we step up, get the masks off, and start working together to make things back to what they used to be. So thank you. And I know you're there for us if we need you. Believe me. Thank you. Uh, Phil, a lot of good things you're doing with Public Works. Thank you for putting that the payroll together the way you did with the change in the hours. Excellent. I mean, those are the things that you got to look at now that we got to do. So thank you for stepping up. Commander Cooper, all of our police department, not, none of them, they never quit working. They, it doesn't matter if they're here or if they're someplace else. If they see something, it has to be done. That's just a natural thing for them to do. So for him to save somebody's life like that, that, that is fantastic. That's, I, can't, I can't even imagine. It's that training that kicks in when the time comes that you know what you need to do and you don't even think about it. So, again, to Commander Cooper, I hope that there is something down the road that we plan on doing for him. That's your call, Chief. I, I appreciate if we could do something for him or any of the uh, first responders that have anything that they do like that, above and beyond, especially. You know, Saturday was, was, I wanted to really go to the stream sweep, but it was my birthday. You know, and when you get my age, you know, they all want to come because uh, Grandpa's getting old. So, you know, <laughs> they all wanted to come to the birthday. I had three dogs running around on my deck, 75 pounds a piece. And, I mean, it was an experience, I have to tell you. When you got great-grandkids and grandkids, then your kids, it's like all these generations all together. And we were able to hug and we were able to kiss because everybody's got their... Shots. This has been something we haven't been able to do 
you know, it, it touches my heart to think that I can't kiss my great grandkids. I mean, and and you could see the difference in everybody when we were together. The relationship, the the love, you could feel that that we haven't had. We lost that love, not even being able to see each other other than on Zoom or on Skype. So uh, it's a great feeling, and I hope that we could shed these masks soon. Uh, those of us that got shots, I guess. The CDC is changing. I guess the governor's working on some stuff. I see the restaurants are all picking up, which is a good thing. Uh, hopefully it'll be good for, for everybody. Uh, summer's coming. I see we had the first days of 80 and 90 coming up maybe in the next four or five days. This has been the weird year besides the virus. So maybe we can get back in the groove of what we do. I'm looking forward to the concert series. That brings the community together every year. I can't tell you how many people have asked me, are we doing concerts or are we do go on the, go on the website and you'll see we're doing five concerts. So the big one will be the one with Seventh Heaven, which is they're all good bands, but that's the over the top band and that'll be for the troops, correct? Mm -hmm. so that's good. So that's it. Uh, we're back. The sun's shining. We're done early. <laughs> I'm, I'm just lucky that I, to be the mayor with a, with a board that I have and the staff that I have. I'm just, I can't even, I can't put it into words. But I, just one last thing. Joe Hyland, I will personally miss you, okay? I mean, I, and I, what I said earlier is from my heart to you. I know a lot of journalists, and I get to talk on the phone with a lot of them. And I've been trapped a few times in my early days, and I learned I don't talk to them. And if, you, if I said it, print it. And if I didn't say it, don't print it. And then if you want to change it, call me and ask me. But you've never done that. You've always printed, no matter what we talked about, you print the story exactly the way you see it, good or bad. But that's you, and that's a good thing. I wish more journalists were like you. That's all I could say. I appreciate it. You will be missed, and you will always be welcome in here as long as I'm the mayor. Are these board members are here? Thank you. Uh, motion to adjourn. So moved. Wow, that was quick. Trust moved by Trustee Frusiloni, seconded by Trustee McCarthy. Clerk, call the roll. Trustee Berger. Aye. Trustee Garvey. Aye. Trustee Zalik. Aye. Trustee Geezer. Aye. Trustee Frusiloni. Aye. Trustee McCarthy. Aye. Meetings adjourned. Greg, I've got a. Actual proclamation. I'm going to introduce my stepdaughter. Oh. <laughs> this is uh, Julie.